All right, guys, welcome to my Hellfire training mission. Uh, when you hit fly, you've got to be ready to press number two on the keyboard to put you in the front seat. So press fly, hit two, and then you're in the CPG gunner seat. Alrighty, so first thing we'll do, we'll go to the master arm and click on arm. So now we're armed and we can see it repeated there. Uh, and then we're gonna use the WAS, the weapon action switch, uh, to press to the right to select missile. And I've just got that set to my thumb switch on my stick, which is, you know, like weapon selection in the Hornet, just to keep it similar. And then we wanna go to the right hand grip sight select switch and press it to the right. That's the one that looks like a trim hat. So I use the trim hat on my stick and I press it to the right and it brings up the tads. And as you can see, you get it on the HDU2. So I use the iHads show hide switch, which I've got assigned to the, the one that hides the Jahamix. It's like the mark button on your stick. Uh, but I believe it's the I key on your keyboard as well. So I just get, get rid of the HDU because you're going to be using this display here for um, Hellfires uh, with TADS. So then um, I change the polarity, uh, so it's in FLIR at the moment, so it's this switch here on the left hand grip, uh, where I see where it says FLIR and TV, I've got that set to the, the flaps, so flaps up on my Warthog base goes to FLIR and flaps down goes to TV, so now we're, now we're in TV mode, which is better for uh, daytime, uh, makes it a bit easier. Uh, and now I'm, I'm going to use my stick, so my, my, my F18 joystick, I've got that set to right hand grip manual track X and Y, so that's this little joystick here, so you can see I'm wiggling it around. And so if you uh, push your stick down, uh, it'll bring it down and you can see there's some tanks there. Uh, so once we've got that, uh, now I've got the, um, the field of view, which is this one, Tad's field of view at the top there of your left hand grip. I've got that set to the castle switch on the uh, joy joystick. So on my F18 joystick, so you go wide and then you um, put your crosshairs over a bad guy and you can zoom right in. And so once you've got your crosshairs like that, then all you've got to do is turn on your uh, laser. So I've got, uh, so it looks like first detent, it just flashes it temporarily and it gives you a, a TADS range there. Uh, but if you go second detent, it holds it on. So I've got that on my pinky switch on the Warthog throttle, the little external light switch over on the left. When I push it forward, it does a first detent. And when I push it aft, it goes second detent and holds the laser on. And as you can see there, the, um, the, the Hellfire will go to track and then you'll get that solid box when it's got a, a laser track, get that big uh, solid white box there. Uh, so then you can go ahead and the left hand grip uh, weapons trigger which I've got assigned to my joystick uh, so the first detent will then um, launch a Hellfire missile so I'm going to pull the trigger just to the first detent rifle and then the missile has come off and then you get your time of flight there and uh, that's going to be a good hit and then you can just zoom out a little bit find another tank zoom in and I've just left my laser on rifle there goes another Hellfire. Boom. And then you can just slew to another one. Rifle. So it's really, really quite fast. And it seems like you, you can leave the laser on. I haven't uh, seen any reason why the laser can't be left on. Rifle. And you do have the linear compensation switch, which I haven't... Uh, I don't really, I haven't really figured it out yet, so I haven't really used it that much. Um, but when you press that, you get um, you get these little uh, lines appear at the end of the crosshair, and it, I think if you impart a motion, it, it'll get, like I've let go of the stick now, and the motion is still continuing. But I'm really not that. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of a bit a bit weird. I just for this mission, I wouldn't bother turning it on. Um, yeah, so that's uh, basically all there is to it and you can see we've got some dead tanks at the front there now the uh the only uh bug of this which we found today was sometimes the laser doesn't turn on and uh as on wags's video if you go onto your your weapons page uh i'll just zoom in a little bit for you so yeah on the weapons page here up on the top utility if you click that uh just make sure that you have a solid dot next to laser Otherwise, it's deactivated. So if I click that, you can see there's a 
there's a little hollow circle there now instead of a solid dot. Uh, so when we started off with uh, takeoff from parking ramp or parking hot, uh, the aircraft was spawning without that filled in. So if you just go there, click that, uh, and then go back to your weapon page, um, you should be good to go if the laser laser should work properly. All right, hope this helps and have fun.